Ohio State been tremendous through the air this year, second in the nation in passing offense. And one of the big reasons for that, the performance of Terry McLaurin, seven touchdown receptions in the last eight games coming into Tuesday's game here in Pasadena. Pleased to be joined now by Terry McLaurin, tied for the team lead in touchdown catches this year. And Terry, you guys have been a big play offense. You've kind of thrived on that this season. As you, I'm sure, are well aware, this is a Washington defense, <laughs> right. which gives up virtually no big plays. How do you kind of exert your will on them? Uh, well, it's, it's a little different than what we were kind of used to in the last couple weeks. Um, more so similar to Northwestern. They try to keep everything in front of them as well. Um, you're not going to necessarily see a whole lot of man, man coverage, so it's, it's going to be really imperative that we are spacing in our routes are, are very key to this game. Uh, they don't give up a lot of big plays, and they're going to make you earn every yard. So um, the shots that we do take, we have to hit them. We have some good plays schemed up for their defense specifically, and then we have to get our run game going. There's been so much said about how the wide receivers have really taken a leadership role, maybe more so than ever before mm -hmm. on this team. How did you do that? What, what were you telling, especially the younger players in the team? Uh, well, going into this year, Coach Mick had told us probably at the end of the, the Cotton Bowl last year that, um, you know, me, Johnny, and Paris come back, that we're going to be the leaders of the team. And you rarely see that with three wide receivers, fifth year at that, and then to be the leaders, not only your offense, but your team. And we just want to take the bull by the horns. Um, we didn't, we all have different type of leadership styles, but we just wanted to make sure that we, uh, we knew what the standard was at Ohio State. We just wanted to uphold that. So uh, there was ups and downs of the season, but I felt like we did, we've done a pretty good job. Has Coach Meyer changed at all as far as being loose, mm -hmm. knowing that this is going to be his last game? How's he been interacting with you guys? Well, that's a good question because um, you can kind of see he's, he's a little relaxed in the sense of uh, he kind of has just that, that weight off his shoulders. It seems like I've known him for a long time, and me and him have a really good relationship. So I kind of see that from him, but the fire hasn't, hasn't gone at all. Um, he's done a great job of not making this whole situation about him. Mm -hmm. He's made it about his team and making sure we're going to win. So, um, you know, it's going to be crazy to not see him there on the sideline, but I know Coach Day's going to do a great job. Yeah. He's made it about the team and not him, but mm -hmm. how much have the players made it about him? Uh, we haven't really made it about him um, at all, to be honest. Obviously, we want to send him out on the right note. Being a senior, I want to go out on the right note as well, but um, he's never been in this game, not even coaching, and for him to coach as long as he has, never been in this game, uh, you want him to be able to have that feather in his cap on the way out. So, um, you know, there's probably an added incentive as us players. We want to play our best for not only our university, but for him as well. You mentioned getting the run game going as being one yeah. of the keys. Tell me about how you guys are part of getting the run game going. Uh, well, it's very critical on the outside that we block the support players, whether that's the safety, linebackers, or, or blocking corners. Um, we know that their top blisses are going to uh, could possibly pose a problem, but um, we come that comes in handy with us as wide receivers. We plus our splits, we manipulate our splits, uh, so the blisses can't necessarily get there. So um, once Mike and J.K. and even Dwayne, if he runs the ball, gets to the edge, it's our, it's our job to make sure our corners and safeties are locked up so they can uh, continue running. You mentioned you've been working with Coach Day as the co-offensive coordinator. For those who may not know him in the way that people know Urban Meyer now, right. give Buckeyes fans a sense of what to expect. Uh, he's very serious about the way he conducts his business. He's, uh, he's a winner, and he's been a man of his word. I talk to him a lot going into the offseason of what the things that he's envisioned for our office this year and everything has happened. We're one of the top offenses in the country. Statistically, um, we pose problems for any type of defense that we see. And I, I just think he's going to bring a, a different type of swagger to Ohio State that hasn't necessarily been seen yet. He's young and innovative, and, and he's looking to be on the attack mode. Buckeyes wide receiver Terry McLaurin, have a great time. Enjoy yep. the Rose Bowl. Such a special experience. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.